Hello everyone, this is user1. For the past week I've been on a trip to Europa Park, Europe's biggest amusement park with my family. I vlogged the trip and you can see it on my vlogging channel. But how did I also upload videos during this week? Well, I've made an announcement on my last GTA 5 video, which in hindsight was the best video to put an announcement on, since none of my subscribers watch those. Uh, about how I made several videos to be released at least once a day in 4 days. Somehow I've managed to actually make enough to be released twice as frequently as promised. But the point is, all of those episodes were made in one night, a week ago. Uh, this is the first video I'm making after the trip, and I'd like to talk about something that bothered me. Do you remember the, that cop that did a weird 180 during my rubber bullets episode? Well, that guy is Tai Chi. And someone from comment section mentioned that they had reported him. Soon after, he was banned. At first hearing this news, I was in joy. I love it when cheaters get punished. However, looking further into the case, something felt weird. First of all, why would anyone use external aim assistance or aimbot as a cop? If you're role-playing a criminal, you invest into a gun, which usually costs like ten thousands of dollars, uh, tens of thousands of dollars, you know, like twenty thousand dollars for a deagle, usually, or something like that, and then it makes sense that you want to have a name assistant, since you don't want your thousands of dollars to go to waste. Well, I mean, it makes sense in a cheater's mind. Obviously, you shouldn't do that, ever. Uh, in, in LSRP, it's very hard for a criminal to acquire a gun and so easy for him to lose it in any instant. One mistake and you've lost 20,000 of dollars or even more, depending on which dealer didn't scam you. However, a cop gets a gun for free, even after death, which isn't penalized in any way for cops. I know this because I used to be a cop, and I used to die a lot, <laughs> especially during shootouts. However, no matter how many times I would die, as long as I did everything according to protocol, only thing that I would be losing was a, a few thousand dollars in medical bills, which were quickly made up with extra paycheck. So there's no point for a cop to use aimbot. I've read Tai Chi's ban appeal, and in there he states that he heard someone say he's on the right, so he turned around to look to the right when I shot him. So. Let's look at the footage. Oh my god. I almost killed that guy. Cops are fucking invincible. Seems very fishy. He clearly turned to look at me and clearly saw me, right? And then he started aiming. He instantly aimed at his teammate and held the aim there. There's no wonder people are calling him a name hacker. At first my thought was, he must have messed up his sensitivity. On GTA San Andreas, uh, there's a lot of sensitivity issues, not to mention desync. This game it was never meant to be a multiplayer. Rockstar never published a multiplayer for this game, it was made by third party software. Also, I'd like to, uh, you to watch this first part of my shootout compilation video here, where I do pretty shady stuff as well. It's very similar to how he behaved as well. Now I want you to remind you that we're not judging roleplay capabilities here. I'm fully aware that in panic I power gamed and the victim was already refunded. What you're looking for is signs of cheating. The initial spin was 100% luck for me. If you look in a comment section, there's people casually throwing off that I may have aimbotted him in that first shot. If someone was to report me, and I will get banned tomorrow, despite the fact that I have never used cheats in my life. It wouldn't be a big surprise. Another thing I'd like to point out, Tai Chi wasn't just reported once. He was, in fact, reported twice for the same issue. Using the video as a evidence. My video, the same video. However, the difference is that the first time, the admin stated that there was not enough evidence to convict him of cheating. And the second time, it some, there somehow was. I agree, this spin is shady, but keep in mind that only thing that got Tai Chi banned was this spin. And it makes no sense to use aimbot as a cop, as I mentioned already. 
The truth is, I don't know whether or not Taichi was actually using a aimbot. However, unless administration has some extra evidence that they are not revealing, basing on the fact that all evidence of him cheating comes from my video, I don't feel like that ban was justified. But how do you know that he wasn't cheating, you may ask? Well, think of it this way. They could have privately agreed to spectate him for a bit to gather further proof that he was using an aimbot. But uh, we don't know whether or not they did that. And at the end of the day, the admins run the server. I've been banned four times already for things that weren't even listed in the rules section. So it's up to administration who they decide to ban for whatever reason at any time. I just don't think we should jump to conclusions without distinctive evidence. Do you think he actually cheated or not? And why? Please share it with me in the comments below, I find this topic very interesting. And as always, stay awesome.